and welcome to another episode of Last Orders. So what's been happening this week since Monday? Not a lot in all honesty. In terms of price action, we can see BTC, we had another uh, couple of rejections off 21.5k, both Monday, or Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, three taps, all rejected. Uh, not had too much um, of, a, of a move down just yet. We're still consolidating just under resistance as you can see. We've not even come down to this 20k uh, day level just yet. If we take a quick look at ETH, um, pretty similar except it has come down to its own daily level of support. This 1516 uh, held it pretty well, nice little bounce. However, not looking particularly strong. We can see these wicks here to the upside, all rejections uh, from going higher. So maybe we need to come down, grab some more liquidity before another attempted leg up. As we've said before, if we lose this 1516 level, could be quite a drop down to 1335 which is the next logical area of support for me if we look left price has moved pretty quickly um through this area here so i wouldn't be surprised to see um quite a quick move down to that if of course we lose this 1516 area if we go back to btc um so the interesting thing that i noticed yesterday in particular if we take a look at the btc 12 hour um you can see this is what the btc daily looks like obviously the first 12 hours of the day so just before the US market opened it looked really really weak and I noted that before the US market opened I thought if we have a, a you know a, a bearish or, or, or weak US market open then it's probably going to send BTC down to 20k uh, and obviously the rest of the market down with it however we did get uh, a poor opening of the S&P so this is the um, S&P futures as you can see looked terrible didn't have a good day at all even if you break down to the lower time frames um, you can see if we go back to the daily quickly, it was attempting to um, hold or reclaim this 3936. Had a few attempts and was rejected. So pretty bad day. But what did BTC do? BTC actually ended up rallying, which was quite strange. So we'll have to see what happens. The S&P, if we take a look at it on its own, still rejecting and respecting that weekly bearish trend line that we've been speaking about the past two weeks. Um, and then as I say we go to the daily it's lost this 3936 level support so again I could see this having quite a fast move down potentially taking out um, these lows and hitting this 3751 daily support uh, which has been untested ever since um, the 10th of November so potentially move down there but then will it bring crypto down you would expect so however with uh, yesterday crypto showing some pretty good relative strength against the um, against the traditional markets. We'll see if that can continue. In terms of news, uh, we got this coming out about uh, Genesis. So it's not really breaking news in terms of, I think we already knew this was coming. However, what could happen over the coming uh, days, weeks, potentially months, um, is what the fallout of this is. You know, what does that cause to happen? Um, does it mean that anything breaks due to, um, you know, due to the results? of this uh, of this bankruptcy so we'll have to wait and see didn't move the market too much as i say i think um it was pretty much priced in but we'll see what happens in terms of the alts that we were keeping an eye on today or in fact just before we do that take a look at the vix so as we were saying um in last friday's uh episode when the vix is low look out below and that has played out so far um, we were down here last friday as you can see VIX has bounced up, whereas price, particularly in the S&P and a little bit of BTC has come down. So still plenty of room for the VIX to move up, which should mean lower prices, but we'll just have to wait and see. So as I say, going on to our alts then, our alts to watch this week. If we go to the weekly time frame, which is the most relevant for these at the moment, ADA has come back down into that uh, weekly area support. I think we were sitting just above at the top on Monday. So if you had orders, um, sort of averaged out into this weekly support area you'd be fully filled now and now you're just waiting to see if this weekly candle can close within this support range um a close below and for me that would indicate um cutting my losses so yeah if you've uh if you jumped on that then hopefully you should be fully filled and ready to go and obviously just waiting to see what happens next ideally bullish scenario you hold this weekly support area you break out this bearish trend line and you have a rally up to this next weekly resistance at around somewhere between 39 and 40 cents 
obviously as i say if you get that close below uh, then cut your losses because we could it could end up just being another lower high as we've seen um, for the past few months um, and come back down to test these lows um, back at around 24 25 cents so um, still a pretty good um, risk reward play there easy invalidation AVAX still needing a bit more of a pullback but this is why you know you want pullbacks as opposed to getting in um, when things are, are rallying hard because as you can see we had that wick last week um, pretty similar wick this week so you don't want to be buying up here you want to wait for things to come back even though it feels like it will never come back or it's too far away it's always worth waiting even if it doesn't come back into this weekly support zone and you miss the move so be it there are other opportunities as I say ADA is in that buy zone at the moment with AVAX I would want a, a, a bit more of a drop down into this $15 range as we talked about on Monday hasn't quite got there yet but maybe it will do over the weekend we'll have to see what happens with price action but exactly the same as ADA easy invalidation would be a weekly close below dot same situation as ADA you would have pretty much been fully filled I think if you averaged orders into this weekly um, support zone and it's actually looking pretty good to hold this weekly level as well so again, you're looking for a rally up into this monthly uh, resistance zone somewhere between uh, $6.30 and $6.80. Easy invalidation, weekly close below sort of $5.50-ish. And then finally, VeChain. Again, we've uh, you've almost be fully filled more or less, um, dipped into that support zone um, this week. And now you're waiting to see if it can hold this weekly level of support. If it does, happy days, rally up to maybe uh, somewhere around 22 cents weekly close below and you can cut your losses so all playing out quite nicely the only one that's not pulled back far enough now is AVAX so if you're in those positions as I say you just got to sit and wait wait for the weekly close make your decision um, and then you know obviously see how next week plays out so yeah if you're in those then uh, fingers crossed for it let's see what happens and um, have a good weekend and as usual I'll be back on Monday for another Monday market roundup so have a good weekend guys and I will catch you then